tell me about the medicine wheel. Okay, we have a medicine wheel. And in that medicine wheel, there's a line that goes like that. And then, that's the four winds in that medicine wheel. The four winds, everything in our medicine is four. We got the red, the black, the white, and the yellow. And, and then my grandfather, before he died, um, good luck. He told me, one day, all these colors are gonna come together and we're all going to be one nation. So when I on the I a I I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a I a She's tired of licking ass. <laughs> Time to stand up and be a Lakota now. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm sitting here, they poisoned me. But you know what? You're gonna take care of me. You done kill me. Now you're gonna give me a check and you're gonna pay for my medical bills. <laughs> Everybody here, remember that I'm not leaving. I'm on treaty land. Yeah. I've been here eight months. I'm a resident here. Everybody's a resident here. This is a community now. So all you leaders, honey, long time ago when we do things, we didn't have a leader. We're all leaders yeah. here. Oh, all leaders. So we don't have a leader. We're all leaders here. Remember that. And, and thank you, Oyate. You can't corrupt me. Nope. You can't change me. Because me, I'm a Lakota. I'm a freedom fighter. That's me. I got history. I come from a warrior family that protect the people, medicine people. That's why I'm a warrior. I went to jail for my people. I got bloods on my hands for my people because that's how much I defend my grandkids. And I will fight for them till I leave this world. In my time, everything was round. We never had problems because we were always in a circle. But they brought us square houses, now everything's square. Look on the map, even our land is square. Now they made my grandkids' brains square. It's not a circle no more. You know what, before I was even born, my grandpa fought for me. They have a picture of him in front of the White House. My grandpa fought for the Freedom of Religion Act. So when I was born, when his first grandkid was born, they can sit there and pray freely. They don't have to be hiding, but that never came about. I still had to run and hide. None of this came about till 1970. I'm not talking 100 years ago. I'm talking my time here. I still couldn't sit there and pray freely till I had to get up and pick up a gun and fight for my rights. I fought in Wounded Knee in my community. I went to Washington, D.C. We had to use violence. We had to. We had to do what we did for them to recognize us, because we weren't even recognized as natives, Indians, until AIM came along, until we had to stand up and raise hell and let the people know we're still here. When I was young, I was out there, but today I'm old, so now I sit at my fire. Now they're fighting out there. Yesterday, some more got arrested out there. Me, I don't go out there no more, but if I have to, I will. And I know it's always a good day to die, but I don't want nobody. They're still young. They got a whole life ahead of them. I want them to live. I want them to continue to be up front. We don't own this land. Nobody owns grandmother. We're just here to take care of grandmother. We're connected with the stars. We're connected with the animal. We're connected to the earth. They can't get rid of us. We shall always live. We will remain forever. We're the caretakers of this land. We're the ones that knew how to live on this earth and knew how to take care of it. But yet these people are out to kill the whole world. 
they don't care. They don't care what color you are. Like my grandpa said, tell them there's land up on the moon. They'll be up there. Sure enough, they went up there too. So they, they'll go and destroy that too. Look at the weather, they destroyed our weather. They just destroyed everything. I wonder where they came from. Are they of this earth? That's why they disrespect the earth so damn much. They don't care about their bloodline. Today, all they live for is how much money they can get, how life could be easy till they die. They're not worrying about how their kids are gonna survive in the future. There's a day coming, and it's coming soon, when you're gonna have to stand up and speak for yourself. Let's take our world back. Let's take grandmother back. Heal her as much as we can for our future generation. We gotta get rid of these fucking money hungry, greedy people. Me, it's sad. I cry. You know, this is my. I come from here, and when I die, I'm gonna go back to this earth. Why can't you just respect my, my grandmother, you know? Respect my, my ways, you know? Your ways don't work. It's never gonna work. Because you got a money in front of you. You killed your God. How can I believe in somebody that killed their own God? And now you're to destroy us. <laughs>